Well, he was a big fan favorite in the desert, and I think in short order, the same will be said of Dalton Varsho north of the border in Canada after he was acquired by the Blue Jays in what we would all consider kind of a surprising deal because I don't know that everybody thought Dalton Varsho was even available, and that rare left-handed hitting catcher-center fielder combo joins us on the stove. Hey, Dalton, uh, happy holidays. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Tell us how you felt at the moment you learned that you were traded and headed to the Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah, when I got the call from Mike, I was I was kind of shocked a little bit uh, just with knowing that I was there with the DBX since 2017. And, uh, you know, I thought I was going to be there for a long period of time. And, you know, when you leave something like that, it's kind of bittersweet because you go from leaving all your friends and all the coaches and everything you've known and you go on to something where I joined the Blue Jays team where they're a World Series championship team already. And uh, just being able to join that lineup and that group, it's been awesome. I mean, a lot of guys have reached out to me, and it's made me feel like home already. Who, who are those guys that have reached out already at this point? Uh, Boba Shett texted me right away. Uh, Alex Manoa, Matt Chapman, uh, Whit Merrifield, uh, Danny Jansen. They all, they all reached out to me, which was pretty cool because it seems like those are the guys who are the leaders, and uh, it's pretty cool to kind of just join that group. Did you know anybody on that roster before the trade? Were those guys that you knew, or you're meeting everybody for the first time? Uh, for the most part, almost everybody is the first time um, I'm meeting them. Actually, we had uh, Matt Gage, uh, a little left uh, lefty for, pitcher for them. Um, he was in arena with me two years ago when I got optioned down there. How are you feeling about I mean, I played in Arizona as well, playing in the NL West for quite a while, and then making that transition – to the AL East like it is a different brand of baseball but it was something that I really enjoyed although the NL West is kind of heading in that direction with the big spenders like the Padres you know and the Dodgers the AL East is just something different about it is that something that excites you yeah it's another challenge to be able to go to a different division and kind of do what I was doing over in the NL West of getting to know everybody and um, how everybody kind of played so uh, it's kind of a challenge for me of being able to go over there and do what I was doing. And um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun just to be able to kind of be with this team and try to dominate there. Yeah, I hear you say challenge and I hear you say dominate. And every time I read an interview from you, I hear the word dominate and master. Like what, what, where does that come from where you're getting this opportunity to go over to Toronto with this great lineup? You may have to start off in left field. What is the approach to how do you want to dominate and master every position that you play? Yeah, it starts from understanding who's going to be out there with you because when I was – playing center a little bit for the D-backs, me and uh, David Peralta, we, we had a lot of conversations of how each other play because if you haven't been out there a lot of a lot of time with them, it, it takes some time to be able to understand how every person plays. And um, when I p played center field, it was like I went and got the ball wherever it was at and corners had a peek at me. And so when Alec Thomas came up and he started playing center, it was interesting to see how our dynamic worked because it was the same way. He went he went after every single ball, and so when I was in right field, I had a peak a little bit. So playing left field's a little bit different, obviously, with having different slices off of righties and lefties and understanding the angles, but it's also a fun, fun thing for me to be able to kind of learn and be able to do that, and it's not like it's anything super different than right. I want to also ask you, a lot of players who, who have parents who played in the major leagues. A lot of times when you're the kid and your pops played in the big leagues, you know, your dad played his last year in 95. You were born in 1996. So in your household, are we looking at highlight reels on repeat over and over again? Is your pops giving you a hard time on how if you had to face him in his day, he would strike you out? Like, is that type <laughs> of banter going on in the Varsho household? Uh, no, I mean, we just talked about a lot of the stories that he had and a lot of them come with Jim Leland in Pittsburgh. And uh, it's just pretty cool to hear those stories when he was playing with Barry Bonds, Bobby Bonilla, Andy Van Slyke, and uh, just a lot of great players over there. And uh, it's just pretty cool to kind of hear those stories and kind of talk about the stories that I've had. Yeah, we would ask you to repeat those stories, but we do not have a seven second delay here at MLB Network. So we'll <laughs> just keep that between us. Hey, I want to ask you about growing up, Dalton. So you, you're a cheeser, UW-Milwaukee guy from Wisconsin. Did you grow up a Brewers fan or because of your dad's career, were you a fan of, of teams that he was attached to? 
Yeah, so I was pretty much attached to the Phillies growing up with him being the bench coach under Larry Bow and Charlie Manuel. So over there, I mean, they had such great guys. And um, my big guy that I love to follow is Jim Tomey. Um, he's still my guy. He actually texted me the other day, and uh, it was pretty cool to kind of have that text from him. And um, it's just awesome to kind of see a lot of a lot of those guys and um, understanding of what I've learned from them from the past. And uh, it was just a pretty cool experience of being able to grow up in that great locker locker room with uh, a lot of great guys. And Varsho, my last one, man, I, I really, really like this move by the Blue Jays, putting you within the mix of that offense. You had a great year. You, you pride yourself on that power and speed combination, 27 home runs, 16 bags. Do you set offensive goals? Are you trying to be a 25-25 guy or a 30-30 guy? Or do you set those type of goals going into a season? Um, for me, honestly, the homers is just going to come by mistakes. Um, they're not going to be something that you kind of chase for. Um, for me, it's actually, I set a goal every year of how many punt singles I'm actually going to have, which sounds, sounds dumb, but it is because those are the, those are the days where you don't feel great and you kind of survive that day and you help, you help your team anyway to get on base. And, um, so, but bond singles and kind of stolen bases are kind of my two goals of trying to be able to hit benchmarks, which is usually 10 a year, and then being able to add on for the, uh, after that. Hey, Dalton, do you have a sec? Take a phone call. Harold Reynolds usually on the show with us, and he was unable to be here today, but he's on the phone. He's got a question for you. You got some time for that? Yep. What's happening, brother? How you doing? How are you doing? How far is your home from uh, Minnesota? Uh, so from Minneapolis, it's like around three hours. <laughs> Interesting question there, Harold. Now, who shot all those deer in the background? No deer behind him, dude. What are you watching? What are you watching, Harold? Jeez. How much Italian are you speaking, Mike? It's not Mike. It's Dalton. Forget about it. Hang up on Harold. This, this interview's over. He always, he always hijacks this stuff. Dalton, we appreciate the visit, man. Uh, we wish you nothing but success in Canada. Way to go. Uh, hope to see you during the season, too, man. Thanks for joining us, and Happy New Year to you and your family. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. New Jay Dalton Varsha. He's going to be a big hit up there, man.